Right, so let's begin. Uh. So today we're going to go into uh, subtopic 6.6, .6, okay, which is the image formation by spherical mirrors. In our previous lesson, we were looking at the image formation by lenses. Okay, so remember that lens, the most important thing about lens is that it goes through the lens. Light must pass through the lens, uh, just like if you pass it through here, right? The light must go through the lens. But for mirror, the we know that mirror, the idea of mirror is to reflect back the lens. Uh, the light, reflect back the light. So, cahaya mesti berbalik kepada kita, okay, in a mirror. But in a lens, the light must go through the lens. Okay, of course, there are all these rules that we have to follow. Lah. Okay, so when we look into a mirror, we can see our image in a mirror. Okay, the image seen in the mirror looks exactly the same. Our question, of course, is how does the image in the mirror form? Okay, and don't forget that the mirror functions based on uh, the phenomena of reflection, okay, which is something that we learned uh, in the previous class. Lah. Okay, so uh, I think the best example, okay, the best example of a mirror or actually a curved mirror, okay, the best example of a curved mirror uh, is actually our spoon. Okay, if you take a look at the spoon, uh, okay, there are two sides to the spoon. And I don't know if when you eat, uh, whether you notice these kind of things. Lah. So, uh, you know, if you look at the if you look if you look at the the spoon, okay, you find that on different sides of the spoon, uh, you will see different reflections. Okay, for example, if I have this side, the one that's curved inwards towards me, I find that eh, saya punya gambar terbalik. But when I put the the curved side outwards, okay, when I'm looking at this, is eh, the oh, my picture is my saya punya gambar, my image is not terbalik. Okay, just a reminder. Okay, kalau terbalik in English, we call it inverted. Okay, so if you are looking at this side, okay, yang melengkung ke dalam itu, okay, the picture is inverted. And if you are looking outwards, yang melengkung ke luar, okay, we find that it is not inverted, but what's the opposite of inverted? Upright. Okay, yang tidak terbalik. Okay, so just remember all these words because we're going to use the same thing again today. Okay, and of course, there is a little bit of good news when it comes to mirror lah. Okay, so two kinds of mirror, okay, the two kinds of curved mirrors. So we're not interested in the mirror that you use in the toilet, lah, huh? that one we're not interested. We're interested in the mirror that is curved. Either it is curved inward or it is curved outward. Okay, so the first kind of mirror, okay, the first kind of mirror is called a concave mirror. Okay, and the concave mirror curves, <laughs> Okay, the concave mirror curves inwards. Okay, this way is a concave mirror. Okay, manakala, the convex mirror curves outwards. So, the best way to remember this is to look at the spoon. When you're looking at the spoon, the place where you put the rice, okay, the place where you put the rice is the concave mirror. The place on the other side of the rice, okay, or whatever it is that you use the spoon for, like the place on the other side is the convex mirror. Okay, yesterday we learned two types of lenses a convex lens and a concave lens. Okay, so uh, it's slightly different. Lah. Okay, but this is a concave mirror and a convex mirror. First thing you need to know is which what which curve okay is the concave and which one is the convex. Okay, tempat kalau tak nasi is the concave mirror. The other side is the convex mirror. Okay, that's point number one. Okay, now generally a concave mirror, concave mirror as we said just now is the one that curves inwards. Okay, uh, if you go very near to the concave mirror, okay, which is a little bit difficult to do with a spoon, huh? but if you go very near to the concave mirror, actually what you will see uh, is that your image uh, will be upright and big. But again, we don't, we don't actually, we don't use the word big anymore, right? What do we use? What is the word that we use instead of big? We use magnified. Okay, um, because we're using the wrist, the read wrist rim, vum vum, okay? so we want to remember the vum vum. So M is for magnified. Okay, but we will talk about this in a little while. I just want to show you the concave mirror. If you go very near to the concave mirror, actually your image will be upright and big. Okay, next. Uh, again, the concave mirror. Okay, slightly further away from the concave mirror, you find that generally it's inverted and small. 
Okay, the spoon will tell you that. If you have a spoon, you can go and get it now and take a look. Well, I'm on baby baby this in here, but uh, if you take a look, it's memang inverted very small, except for when you're very, very near. When you're very, very near, then the image should be upright and magnified. Okay, uh, again, everybody, we don't use the word small. Instead of small, we use the word diminished. Okay, because we still want to hold on to the, the read, race, all those things. Lah. Okay. Now, on the other hand, the convex mirror, yang keluar, okay, and this is the good news. The convex mirror is always small. Actually, we don't longer call it small. We call this diminished. Huh? Okay. The image is always diminished and upright. And the two best examples of convex mirror is, number one, the mirror that you see, contohnya, at 7-Eleven. Okay, the one that is high on the ceiling. Lah. Okay, notice that everything is much smaller. Okay, and it's upright. Lah. It doesn't make sense if the mirror is the balik. Lah, kan? <laughs> okay, same thing with the mirror at the side of the road or at corners. Okay, so these are all the uses uh, of these curved mirrors. Another one that is reused usually is the side mirror of the car. Generally, the side mirror of the car is convex mirror. Because you can, because the picture inside the mirror is smaller. Okay, so remember this. Convex mirror is coming outside one okay yang melengkung ke luar okay maybe to us when we feel the mirror it doesn't feel that way lah. Uh, but actually it's curved outwards okay that's why you can see the car uh, looks much smaller okay right let's begin huh? uh, this is an activity that i hope to do um well when you come back lah, when you come back uh, next week i don't know whether that is uh, met with a woohoo or uh, <laughs> next week. Okay, but regardless of how you feel, I hope you come back because I really hope that we can do all these lab activities uh, somehow. Lah. Okay, or at least do a demonstration so that you can see it for yourself. Okay, don't skip school, lah, please. Come on. Okay, so let's talk about the mirror, uh, the parallel rays. Okay, when the uh, when you are directed to, towards the two type of mirrors. Okay, so for a concave mirror, the parallel rays is converged at the focal point after reflection. Okay, like this. So when the parallel rays come, it reflects back. Remember, this is not lens. Color lens, they tumbles the lens. But in a mirror, it reflects back. Okay, and it is a reflecting, converging. Okay, if you remember, yesterday we were talking about the converging lens. Okay, converging lens means if the lens is like this, okay, if the light rays come here, after it passes through the principal axis, sorry, after it passes through the center, it will converge. Okay, and we know this point is called the focal point. Okay, but notice that the converging lens is a convex lens. But the converging mirror is a concave mirror. Okay, which is the thing uh, that you will probably hear me say as we go along in this year. Lah, is that lens and mirror are really polar opposites. A convex lens has the same characteristic as a concave mirror. Okay, just they put your number to balik sila. The characteristic is the same. Convex lens is a converging lens. Concave mirror, cermin cekung, is a converging mirror. So, about lens and mirror are two different things. Okay, so this is the first obstacle that we need to get over. That the convex lens and the concave mirror have the same theory. Okay, and so again, the same thing over here. The point where the light reflects and focuses is called the focal point. Okay, pretty much the same as, uh, pretty much the same as what we were doing uh, yesterday, lah. Okay, trying to identify where the focal point is. Okay, and likewise, together with the uh, concave mirror, there's the convex mirror. So the convex mirror is exactly like the concave lens. Concave lens is diverge out. So convex mirror also diverge out. Dia tercapah keluar. Okay. Tapi dia punya pencapahan there is a focal point that is behind the mirror. Okay. So this is how it will look like. It, it converges out. So when the light comes here, okay, when the light ray comes here, it converges out. Okay. Dia tercapah keluar. Okay, and if we extend this to the back over here, we extend this to the back over here, you can see that, oh, okay, here is the focal point. Okay, almost the same like what we did yesterday with the convex, uh, sorry, the concave lens. Okay, so uh, let's do the drawing for this. Lah. Okay, let's do the drawing for this. 
Okay, let's start with the concave mirror drawing. Okay, and identify the important things. Okay, first of all, the middle line, as we know from yesterday, is called the same thing, the principal axis. Okay, the principal axis. And then, uh, and then this is an added thing uh, for the mirror. Okay, the first one is, this point over here is what we call the pole of the mirror. Okay, the pole of the mirror. So this is an added thing. Uh, lens don't have pole one, okay? It's just mirror. Mirror, there's a pole. Okay, secondly, okay, take a look at how it reflects. Okay, I don't get it at one go, uh, but take a look at how it reflects. Take a look at how it reflects. Okay, take some time to draw this. Okay, blue goes to blue. Just this one you can simply simply draw lah, but just make sure that the focal point is the same. Okay, make sure that the focal point is uh, over here. Okay, and what we will get is that the parallel rays are reflected and converge on the focal point. Okay, if it is lens, it goes through the lens, but mirror it comes back to the mirror. Okay, so all these rules are there. Okay, and it's important for us to follow these rules. Up. It's just that we need to know whether it is a it is a converging point or a diverging point. Okay, let's move on to the convex mirror. Okay, convex mirror, as I said, is a diverging mirror. So it's supposed to go in and then, you know, spread out, not focus on one point. Okay, so let's start again. Middle line is always called the principal axis. Okay, and let's label P as the pole of the mirror. Lah. Okay. Now, we're going to do this slowly. Huh? So the first one is the first parallel ray over here, okay? And it's going to diverge out. Okay, it's going to diverge out. Once you draw the diverging line, I want you to extend it a little bit. Just like yesterday, the concave lens, okay? Kita kena lukis satu dulu, baru tetapkan dia punya focal point. Okay, so we know that over here, okay, this is going to be the focal point. Okay. For now, come to tap kana. Don't worry about don't worry about the actual drawing. Later we will come to that. Okay, then you can draw the second one. Okay, the second one is this red color. Okay, spread out, but again remember that it focuses on the focal point. Okay, so the parallel rays are reflected, okay, and diverge. Okay, they can spread out. Okay, as it comes from a focal point behind the mirror. Okay, actually, if you have time, I would suggest uh, that you do a comparison in how the explanation is done. Okay, compare the concave uh, mirror and the convex lens, and then the concave lens and the convex mirror. Okay, look at this explanation. It's pretty much the same, actually. Okay, it's just that instead of reflecting, okay, color mirror, they reflect. Okay, color, uh, color lens, can they can uh, refract. Let's continue, okay, to talk about how the mirrors are made. Okay, this is just explanation. You don't really have to know. Uh, you don't have to really copy this down. Lah. Okay, so how a mirror is made is usually we have a spherical, uh, a hollow glass sphere. Okay, and then a hollow glass sphere is, uh, you know, one bullet like that. Lah. And then we cut a part of it out. So when we cut a part of it out, this thing over here looks like a mirror. Lah. Okay, but what I want you to imagine uh, is that the mirror is actually a part of a circle. Okay, a circle <coughs> that has a point in the center. Okay, just like all circles are, there's always a point in the center. Okay, but I want you to always imagine that whenever you see a mirror, whenever you see a mirror, it is always a part of a much bigger circle. Okay, with a center. Okay, and so the reason why I want you to know this Okay, is because there is a relationship between this P and this C. Okay, so this is an example of a concave mirror and this is a convex uh, mirror. Oh, sorry, this is convex mirror, this is concave mirror. Okay. Oh, sorry, yeah, the balik. Sorry, this is con. Yeah, this is convex mirror, sorry, this is concave mirror. Okay, but basically the surface is the one that reflects the light. Okay, concave mirror, this is convex mirror. Okay, over here. Okay, because in the next slide, we're going to be copying this. Uh, okay, again, I want you to remember uh, the mirror is actually part of a much bigger circle. Okay, where there is actually a center in that circle. Okay, so these are important terms regarding the curve of the mirror. Number one, the principal axis. Same thing. Lah. Okay, principal axis is this. Focal point is the same, a point through which all the this one, this one, this one. And the pole of the mirror is the middle point of the curved mirror. 
Okay, these are the first three things. The principal axis, the focal point, and the focal length. So the next one is you can see from there is the object distance. Same like yesterday. Object distance, you know, is always the distance between the mirror and the object. Lah, okay, which is the same as uh you know the this one object distance, image distance hasn't changed from yesterday, except that today we're talking about mirror. So you just talk about the mirror. Okay, the distance of the object from the pole, the distance of the image from the pole. Okay, yesterday was the distance of the object from the center of the lens. Uh, you know, the distance of the image from the center. Same thing. Okay, focal length is the distance between the focal point and the pole of the mirror P. Okay. Now, the only other uh, two extra things, lah, okay, is the center of curvature. Okay, so you remember just now I said now that every mirror actually is essentially a circle that you cut a part of it out. Okay, so actually if you imagine this whole thing to be one circle, the center of curvature is here. Okay, which is basically, sorry, this is a very ugly, it's a very ugly circle, lah, but the center of curvature is basically the center of the circle. Okay, in which the mirror is cut off from. So we call this the center of the concave or the convex mirror. Okay, and the radius of the curvature R is the distance between P and C. Okay, the pole of the mirror and the center of curvature. Just like the center, the radius of a circle, jajari bulatan makan, dari pusat sampai ke bulatan tersebut. Okay, so that's the radius, uh, that's the radius of the design. Okay, so of course our main job okay today is to draw okay our main job today is to draw so uh let's do activity two okay uh this is actually the thing that we're doing in the lab but today we just want to learn the rules of drawing lah. okay so we go to rule a rule b and rule c okay these are the three rules okay the first one is array parallel to the principal axis okay so this is uh in page 206 in your notes huh? this is a okay this is rule number one and then yesterday, also the same thing, lah, parallel to focus point. Para a focus point to parallel. And then the third one is through the center. Okay, the rules actually never change. From lens to mirror is always the same. Parallel first, then focus point. Juma, in the mirror, remember, we don't go through the mirror. Okay, we go, dia akan berbalik. Okay, so for a concave mirror, same like the convex lens, parallel to focus, focus to parallel, and then finally, this is the um this is the center one okay the rule number three okay and just like yesterday you only need two rays okay to find where the image is just like yesterday in the lens you draw two lines only you as long as you follow two out of these three rules you're good to go you can find the image okay as long as it is uh passing through the design now in your notes uh they give you left hand and right hand side right okay it's the same thing it's just you know tabalik sajala okay uh in your notes if you notice like for example this one right okay this one is the first part okay then the second one underneath there is the same mirror it's still a concave mirror except that they tabalik the keadaan saja okay so just practice drawing the three rules over there lah. okay rule a rule b and rule c okay out of which again i would think that uh, rule number one and rule number three are more commonly used. Lah. Kita lebih menggunakan rule number one and rule number three. Okay, because it's easy. Center, ah, memang tidak boleh lari itu. Okay, center is center. Center to center. Center to center. Okay, so, uh, so, yeah. Except that, remember that the center of the mirror and the center of the lens is different. Center of the lens is inside the lens. Center of the mirror is actually outside the lens. Okay, and uh, if you want to make a note of this, one very interesting thing is that the center of the curvature uh, is, uh, sorry, the distance from, oh, actually not interesting, I already said this is now. The, here is the pole, right? Okay, to the center is the radius, lah, okay, the radius of the circle. Okay, one other thing to note, I, know, uh, I think you should do this also, uh, when you draw anything with mirror, draw the pole, okay? Because the drawing will be slightly different uh, if your if your ray hits the mirror and then dari pada mirror pula yang kau terbalikkan. Okay, so we don't want that. So always draw the pole before you draw the ray diagram. The pole is this, uh, yang ini garis, uh, garis lurus lah. Okay, a straight line at the pole of the mirror. 
Okay, so you don't confuse. So when you draw the ray, draw directly to the pole, to the straight line before you reflect it out. Okay, so this is an example. This is an example of a mirror. Okay, uh, the curved mirror this way. Lah. So this is parallel to focus point, rule number one. This is rule number two, focus point first to parallel. When it reflects back, it reflects back parallel. Okay, and then of course, number three, uh, this is through the center. Okay, just draw directly through the center over here. Okay, this is the principal axis. Lah. Okay, for a convex mirror, okay, turn to page 209. Oh, sorry. 209, uh, 208, sorry. Oh, but 208 don't have. Okay, never mind. For a convex mirror, okay, the rules is still the same. Okay, parallel but diverge out to F. Okay, sorry, uh, ini nota tiada pula dalam kamu punya handout. Okay, but we will we will do this together later lah. Okay, the second one is to the F and then parallel and then the third one macam biasa. Okay, to the center. But unlike unlike the one that is on the con uh, the concave mirror, according to concave mirror, kan dia berbalik. All the C and the F is on one side. Okay, but for the convex mirror, okay, the C and the F is behind the mirror. Okay, this is a convex mirror. Ah, they put your pole di luar. Okay, everything else is ah uh, behind the mirror. Okay, this is activity three. Okay, activity three in your handouts. So this is our first situation. U is bigger than 2F. Okay, notice, okay, this F over here is two boxes. Uh, our focal point is two boxes. And notice that this is the interesting thing. The center of curvature is always 2F. Okay, two times of the focal point. Okay, and so just like yesterday, our first drawing was the object is beyond the 2F. Let's say this is 10 centimeters. So the center of curvature will be at the 20 centimeter position. Lah. Okay, and so let's say for example, our, our object, ah, I put the object very far away, say at 30 centimeters. So what's going to happen? Okay, let's start drawing. First of all, draw the pole here. Okay, draw, sorry. Oh gosh, my pole is so ugly. Okay, draw the pole, one straight line over here. Okay, I'm not interested in the mirror, I'm more interested in the pole. Okay, draw this straight line over here. Okay, this is the pole. Okay, our first ray is parallel. And then once it goes parallel, it will reflect to the F. Okay, parallel to the F. That's our first ray. Rule number one. Rule number three. Rule number three is directly through the center. And don't think about it. Really. Rule number three. Oh, sorry. This, this one wants rule number two. Okay, fine. Rule number two. To the F. Once you hit the pole over here, then you put parallel, okay, to the center. Okay, and you notice that the image forms where the intersection point is. Okay, let me point it out to you. Ah, uh. this, the intersection point is over here, right? Okay, so that's where you put the image. Okay, actually, if you draw rule number three directly through the center, you will also get the image over here. Okay, so this is where the image is. Okay, and as always, let's talk about the image characteristics. Okay, so number one, okay, so this is slightly different. Huh? For a mirror, if the image is on the same side as the object, then we call it a real image. Okay, if the image is on the same side as the object, we call it a real image because, and yesterday we said this, huh? a real image uh, the definition of a real image uh, is an image that can be captured on a screen. Okay, it means if you put a screen here, you can see the image. Okay, you can see the image. So, any different now, uh, this is different from convex lens. Okay, convex lens, a real image is the image must be the other side of the lens. Okay, because that's what the lens does, dia membenarkan cahaya melaluinya. But mirror is, dia memantulkan cahaya. It reflects back the light. So if the light is reflected back, then that image is a real image. Okay, the other two, I think you can tell me already. What is this? Is this upright or terbalik atau tidak terbalik? 
Of course, it's terbalik lah kan, dia menghala ke arah bawah. So, if it's terbalik, we call it inverted. Okay, and thirdly, look at the height of the image. This is, tidak sampai pun satu kotak, but over here is one kotak. Okay, so the the image is smaller than the object. So, it is diminished. Okay, and it's our fa our famous one lah, R-I-D. Okay, read. And the position of the image is at F to, uh, between F and 2F lah. Okay, this one don't worry about it. What I'm more concerned with is this. Okay, now if you have, sorry, not if you have the time, look at it now lah. Okay, turn back to 6.4. Turn back to, sorry, 6.3. Turn back to subtopic 6.3. Look for the first drawing that you drew for the convex lens. Okay, notice that the position is the same. U is bigger than 2F. Okay, and then look at the image characteristics. Okay, and you will find uh, that, oh wow, actually for the same position of the object, whether it is concave mirror or the convex lens, the image is the same. It is read. Okay, and <clears throat> if you have been following the lesson since, you know what happens really after this. After read, if I push, if I bring this object further in front to u equals to 2f, it will be ris. After ris, if I bring it further in front some more, it will be rim you know that order. So this is the good news. In terms of the image characteristics, the concave mirror and the convex lens have the exact same image characteristics. So if you memorize one, you already memorize both. Of course, you have to know that one is convex lens, one is concave mirror. Lah. Okay, read, 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 boom, boom. Still applies in concave mirror. Okay, that's why I really focus on that read, read, boom, boom, because it's, you know, you memorize two things at once. Okay, so this is one. Okay, let me talk about the, the image capture lah, since maybe for some it's a little bit hard to imagine. Okay, so this is, let's say this is the object. Okay, and then I put the mirror over here. Okay, and if you notice, actually <laughs> it's a little bit dim lah. Okay, I put the screen over here. The idea is when you have the object over here, the light will travel from here to here and it will reflect back. Okay, and you should be able to see the image on the screen. Okay, take a look at this. See, the image is over here and it is inverted and it is smaller, okay, compared to the original candle. So this is what we call a real image, okay, the image that is reflected on the mirror and the mirror reflects it back on the screen, okay, and that's the, well, I guess you can call it the beauty of curved mirrors, lah, okay, is that you can capture the image on a screen. It's a real image. So the image that you see in... <laughs> You, the image that you see in the mirror every day, lah. Okay. Unfortunately for you, it is not fake, uh, Okay. It's a real. Is but it is not a real image. Okay. The image that you see in the screen, sorry, in your mirror every day when you brush your teeth or you apply makeup or you, I don't know, whatever it is you do in front of the mirror, actually that is a virtual image. Okay. Because it's not a screen. It's just being reflected back to you. Okay. So later when you look look at yourself in the mirror, tell yourself, oh, this is a virtual image. Because if it's a real image, huh, you should have a screen next to you. Okay, this is another one. Okay, the same thing over here. Okay, this is the object reflected on the mirror that is somewhere over here. I don't know where's the mirror. Okay, and you can see the image over here. Okay, it is being reflected back. Okay, so I just want to show you what a real image is like for a mirror. It's easier to see a real image on, I mean, it's easier for us to understand real image when we remember the, the definition. An image that can be captured on the screen. If it appears on the screen, it is a real image. If it cannot appear on the screen, then it is a virtual image. Okay, just like your face in the mirror. Okay, let's go to the second drawing. U equals to 2F. Okay, so you are expecting this already. After read is what? Just now was read by kind over here. This is read. So you know this one. You know this has to be, what is the image supposed to be? It has to be wrist. Okay, real inverted, same size. Let's test it out. Okay, first ray, parallel. After it parallel, it will reflect back to F. That's the first ray. Okay, the second ray is through the F, Hit the pole, uh, people. Hit the pole. Remember to draw the pole. Okay? Remember to draw the pole where the curve is. Hit the pole and then reflect back parallel. Okay? You should be able to get the image form over here. 
Okay, the image should be able to be formed over here, ngam ngam at the C. And, okay, so of course, image characteristics. Is it on the same side as the object? Yes, so it's a real image. Okay, is it the balik or the same direction as the object? It's the balik, of course, look at the image. Here's the balik. Okay, so it is inverted. And of course, thirdly, it is the same size, exactly the same size. We are expecting this, okay, because we already learned yesterday. Read, risk is the second one. Okay, rail inverted, same size. And the position is memang ngam ngam juga di 2F. All right, let's move on to the next drawing. Okay, we are expecting this, huh, people. We are pushing the object further and further nearer to the mirror. So this is supposed to be read, risk, rim. We are expecting rail inverted magnified. Go ahead. First drawing, okay, parallel to the F. Okay, first light ray. Second ray, okay, you can choose this, some people. You can draw through the center if you want because the center is the easiest. Or if you want to follow like this slide, the second ray will be through the F. Hit the pole. Remember to draw the pole again, everybody. Okay, through the pole and then reflect back parallel. Okay, you should get the intersection somewhere over here. Okay, and if the intersection is over here, you can put the image. Lah. Okay, the image is from the principal axis to the intersection. Okay, so that's what your image will look like. Okay, so same question, image characteristics. Is it real? Yes, it's real because it's on the same side as the mirror, uh, as the object, sorry. Remember, uh, mirror object different. Okay, Color, uh, mirror and lens must be different. Lens, the other side, baru real. Mirror, same side, real. Okay. Secondly, is it the balik or not? Of course, it's the balik because originally is right side up. Bila image the color, the balik. So, inverted. We are expecting this. What is the third one? Rim. It is magnified. So, it should take about one and almost two boxes. Lah. This one is only one box. So, it is magnified. Okay. So, this makes uh, actually light. Really, honestly, I feel that light is one of the easier topics, especially if you remember this. Okay, read this room, boom, boom. Half the battle is won. Okay, position is at 2F, beyond 2F. Don't worry about this. Okay, it gets further and further. Okay, this is the tricky one. Huh? Remember yesterday when we were doing this, it is not just boom, but it is boom infinity. Okay, yesterday when we were doing this, huh, we were thinking of this, and then this is the boom infinity. Okay, so it's a little bit tricky. Let's go. Huh? First one, same thing. Okay, parallel to F. This are no choice lah. Okay, this are no choice. Parallel to F. Now the second one we have to follow rule number three, because we cannot go through F because we are on F. Macam mana kamu lalu di F? Kalau kamu di atas F, cannot. So we have to use rule number three, which is draw towards the center. Okay, if you draw towards the center, then you find hey, it's parallel. Okay, it's parallel and will forever be parallel. Okay, even if you extend it, and even if you extend it some more, it will continue to be parallel. Okay, parallel and parallel and parallel. Okay, which we already expect because we learned this yesterday in convex lens. Okay, so the image will be virtual, upright, magnified, and form at infinity. Okay, so read, read, rim. Voom infinity, and later we're going to go into the voom image, like the final voom image. Okay, so when you have this expectation, then the drawing becomes much easier. Of course, you have to remember the rules of the drawing. Uh, it's not got no choice. Finally, our fifth drawing is U is less than F. So we are bringing the image, okay, we are bringing the image very near to the this one. Okay, if you remember, so far, all our this one, right, when we're talking about concave mirror, all our concave mirror is tabalik, 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 diminish, diminish, and inverted. Gen read, raise, rim. And read, raise, rim. Oh, well, generally, read, raise, lah. Okay, read, raise is diminish, is all tabalik, except for one situation. Okay, remember, this one, ah, concave mirror, curve inwards. Ah. There's only one situation where you'll be upright and magnified, in which you're very, very near to the mirror. Okay, then you will be upright and magnified. So this is the drawing that we want to draw over here. Okay, so same thing. 
first line is parallel. Again, draw the pole, people. First line is parallel. Actually, the pole is given to you. Kenapa sama sebut sebut draw the pole? Okay, don't forget draw the pole. Ah, I mean, you know, if they're not given. Lah. Okay, parallel and then reflect to F. Okay, and then the second one, uh, you can do the F if you want, but it's very hard because you're in front of the F already. So better to do the center one. Okay, draw the center line. Okay, the center, through the center, and then notice that over behind here, it's going to go further and further apart, so we don't want that. And we are expecting a virtual upright and magnified image. Okay, virtual upright magnified image. Buka sudah. Minta dengan ayu. Great, sorry. Okay, virtual upright magnified image. So extend the line all the way to the back. Okay, for both the red and the green ones. And hello, virtual image. So it has to be formed at the back of the mirror, inside the mirror. Okay, so you will get this. Okay, the image will be over here. And at this point, I hope you already know that the image characteristics is, you know, you should memorize it. Lah. Okay, virtual, upright, and magnified. Okay, virtual, upright, and magnified. Okay, so again, now remember, convex lens, concave mirror, exact same outcome. Okay, the outcome is the same, cuma dia cara melukis itu yang berlainan. Okay, I want to recommend to you again and again that you should be practicing the drawing. Okay, until it becomes like muscle memory. Okay, so that you don't have to, hey, macam mana mau lukis? Ha? One time is not enough. Draw it a few times until it becomes muscle memory. Let's proceed. Huh? So, in summary, next page, huh? we are on page 208 now. Okay, in summary, at this point, you know what? You shouldn't even be bothered with copying the entire thing. Lah. Okay, of course, you need to remember what the RISDM means. Lah. Okay, VU. But, you know, read, 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 boom, boom. Okay, remember this. Okay, and remember again, lah, concave mirror and convex lens. Okay, same characteristic, same outcome. Converging mirror, converging lens, and the outcome is the same. Read, read, stream, boom, boom. Okay, it is the diverging one that is, uh, that is always the, the, the weird one. Now, before we go on to the, the convex, this one, saya kasih tunjuk saja lah, but actually you just write read, read, stream, boom, boom lah, especially if you know already. Okay, now this one, uh, I would like you to copy this. Uh, somewhere on the paper because it's not on the handouts. Okay, uh, I would like you to copy this. State the position to get the real image and the virtual image. So a real image will be this, okay, and the virtual image will be the rest. Lah. Okay, now the relationship between the object distance and the image distance, the less the object distance, the smaller the object distance, the bigger the image distance. Okay, so same like lens yesterday. Okay, and of course the size of the image, the uh, U is inversely proportional to the size of the image. The further you are away from the object, okay, the smaller your image size will be. Just like if you look at the spoon. Okay, you put the spoon nearer to you, your image becomes bigger. You put the spoon further away from you, the image becomes smaller. You look smaller. Okay, except for one situation where the image where you are very near to the mirror. If you're very near to the mirror, then the image is magnified. Not just that, it's virtual and upright. All right, let's continue. Huh? Now we're moving on to concave mirror. Uh, sorry, convex mirror. Okay, convex mirror, exactly the same as concave lens. And we're expecting this. Okay, what should the image be? It should always be virtual, upright, and diminished. Always and forever. Okay, if you take a look at the spoon, the back of the spoon, uh, the, the curved outside one, wherever you put uh, near or far, okay, you're always going to be virtual, you're always going to be upright, and you're always going to be diminished, smaller than your actual size. Okay, but let's take a look at the drawing. Okay, so first, same thing, okay, the principal axis, okay, and everything, everything over there. Uh, I want to go to the second drawing first. Huh? This is the one where uh, U is less than F is less than 2F, this one. Okay, take a look at this one, uh, the second one. You can do the first drawing later because the outcome is going to be the same. Okay, first ray. Okay, the first ray is parallel, and then where does it reflect to? 
it reflects to the f but remember this is a diverging lens okay so you need to put the focal point at the back of the uh, lens plus mirror okay you have to put it at the back of the mirror okay just like the lens okay now the second one i would suggest that you, you follow rain uh, rule number three go directly to the center but the center is behind the mirror, not in front of the mirror, because it's a convex mirror. Okay, so the center line will be like this. Okay, and well, guess what we have here? We have another intersection. <laughs> okay, and so the intersection is here. You can form the image over here. Okay, this will give you the image. And just like the concave lens yesterday, concave lens, convex mirror, wherever you put it has the same uh, characteristic which is virtual because it's behind the mirror okay upright because it's facing the same direction as the object but it is diminished sorry uh, let's not use the word smaller okay diminish okay so diminish because it is uh, smaller and the best example of this is always the mirror at 7-Eleven. Mirror at 7-Eleven is the best example of convex mirror. If you go to 7-Eleven or any shop where there's a security mirror, okay, it's always a convex mirror because the picture is inside the mirror, number one. Number two, the picture is always smaller than the actual thing. Okay, and number three, the picture is always upright. Okay, you see the picture in the mirror, kind, it's not tabalic, okay, it's always upright. Okay, same direction. Okay, I want let's go to the applications. Huh? Okay, the applications of mirror according to this. Let's start with the makeup mirror first. What is the type of mirror used? Okay, the type of mirror used is a concave mirror. Why? Because you want a big, big size. You don't want convex. Convex mirror makes everything smaller. Okay, a hey, makeup mirror is very important. You need the picture in your mirror to be very big so that when you apply your eyeshadow la, or your eyeliner la, you don't topple it and then draw the thing outside la. so concave mirror very important but the position of the observer is this okay u is less than f because only at this position can you get a virtual upright and magnified okay so there's a rule la. there's a condition that comes with the concave mirror la. okay you want to do a you want to do a you want to put on your makeup have a concave mirror is better so that it makes your face bigger but you need to go nearer to the mirror okay as near to the mirror as you can just like if you have this mirror put it nearer okay so that your picture will be virtual inside the mirror upright so that it's not tabalic and magnified because if you go very far then you'll be tabalic which is like kind of pointless if you want to do a makeup mirror lah. okay so good makeup mirrors are usually concave mirrors uh, you know they have a very big focal point okay but uh not all makeup mirrors are like that there's some makeup mirrors that are just a flat mirror okay remember this subtopic uh, is spherical mirror we're looking at the curved mirror we're not interested in the flat mirror flat mirror is science from three okay we're not interested in this okay so concave mirror is used to create a magnified and upright image of the face of course also virtual uh, because it's inside Okay, you uh, I guess you can write down this somewhere at the bottom of the page. Okay, just as an extra note. No. Okay, this is this is not this one. Huh? I just want to show you a plain mirror is the flat mirror. Okay, look at the size, size, everything is the same. But look at the concave mirror, you can really see her eyes. Wow. <laughs> okay. Now the plain mirror is a is a virtual upright but same size. But the concave mirror, if you go near enough, it'll be virtual upright and magnified. Okay, so for makeup, the lady's face must be close to the concave mirror. The object distance has to be less than the focal length. Okay, this is just extra information. Don't need to worry about this. Lah. Okay, number two is the transmission of radio waves and signals. Okay, name the shape of the reflector. The shape will be a concave mirror. Okay, just like the satellite dish. Lah. Satellite dish is curved inwards. Okay, curved inwards is a concave mirror. Remember, curved outwards, like the supermarket mirror, is a convex mirror. Where is the location of the signal receiver? Okay, this is very important. The signal receiver must be at the focal point. Okay, this receiver over here. Because we know that when a signal comes, 
okay this is the pre if this is the f okay when the signal comes from very far away it will be reflected num num towards the focal point so you need to put your receiver this is the receiver by the way you need to put the receiver at a distance where it is exactly the same as the focal length of the reflector okay so that the incident waves from the satellite okay or the signal from the satellite okay is parallel and will focus at the focal point after reflection okay if you don't if you put your focal point if you put your receiver up here for example like, no matter what happens the light the wave will come and reflect back here okay and you will totally miss the 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 receiver if you put it over here so you have to put the receiver num num at the focal point so that all the signal is focused onto the receiver Okay, once it is focused on the receiver, then you get stronger signal, and then you know that's where you can watch your astro and such. Lah. Okay, so example like this. Okay, for example, the astro dish uh, is a the astro dish is a curved mirror. Okay, and so the distance between the the curved mirror, the curved reflector, the distance from the astro dish to the receiver over here is the focal length. Okay, here is the focal point. Okay, same thing like with this, this dish over here this distance over here to the receiver okay is the focal length because the ray the the signal come gonna reflect and then reflect at the focal point the signal come gonna reflect reflect at the focal point so you want all the signals to come to the focal point so that you don't miss out anything lah. okay you don't like kehilangan signal or anything all right next this is a reflector of the torchlight the reflector of the torchlight again the this is a converging this one so we will use a concave mirror same same like just now okay the location of the light bulb is the same as the satellite just now it is at the focal point of the reflector okay because the reflector is sorry the reflector in the torch line is the balik from the satellite dish satellite dish is the the wave come to the satellite and reflect onto the receiver for the light bulb case the light bulb shines the light onto the mirror and then the mirror shines light parallelly parallelly okay because of ray number two so how does it function the light from the bulb is at the focal point okay it hits the reflector and will reflect parallel and this gives us a very shiny uh, a very bright a parallel light okay a very light uh, a very bright parallel light because of the reflector uh, I just want to show you this lah. Okay, for example, like this. So, if it is low beam, this especially works with high beam lah, because you want the parallel this one. So the bulb at F. Okay, all the design the bulb is num num at the focal point, so that when it shines ah, the the rays will hit the reflector and then go parallel. Okay, so you get it uh, all the way over here. At low beam, not so good. Okay, because low beam you only want in front. High beam ah, yang lampu tinggi itu bahkan you want it to be straight. Okay, for example, like this. Okay, so that's why you put it at the focal point so that it, you know, it really gives you a parallel light. You can see much further because it's high beam. All right, next application is the dentist mirror. Okay, the dentist mirror, the job is to make the object become bigger. Okay, so also we use concave mirror for this. Notice that we've been talking about concave, concave, concave mirror. Because concave mirror ada banyak kegunaan ini. Okay, dentist mirror, makeup mirror, reflector torchlight. Okay, a lot. Concave mirror got a lot of this. Okay, the position of the teeth must be very near to the mirror. Lah. Okay, you don't see the dentist uh, bring the mirror and then shine from very far away. Oh, look, uh, your hole is over there. No. Lah. Okay, it has to be very, very near to the this one. U is less than F. Okay, and then the characteristics. Asal dia dekat is always virtual, upright, magnified. Ini tak payah fikir. Memang begitu. Okay, virtual, upright, and magnified. Boom, for short. Okay, because concave mirror hanya ada dua situasi saja. And we're not interested in the infinity image lah. We're interested in the actual virtual image that we can see. All right, thank you. Car side mirror. Okay, car side mirror, now we're changing already. Just now we've been talking about concave, concave. If you have been following our class from the beginning, you know that the car side mirror is always convex mirror. Okay, and what is the advantage of this? Okay. If you're wondering where this paper went, it's in the workbook, page 209. I mean, you know, the tutorial 6.6. .6 okay, so uh, I know that you can only see this picture in your handout, okay, but 
go and look for this in your workbook. Okay, this is in your workbook. These two questions are in the workbook. Go and get it and copy this down. The benefit of using this type of mirror is that you have a wider field, wider view of vision. Okay, the driver can see the object at the back end at the side of the car and miss the blind spot. If your mirror is just plain mirror, can you see less? Okay, so we call this a small field of vision. Okay, a convex mirror gives you a wider field of vision. You see more, but the only downside to this is the reason why you can see more is because everything is smaller in the mirror. Okay, so there's a balance over there. You see more, but you see small. Okay, in a concave mirror, you see less, but you see more, as in you see bigger. Okay, you see less, but you see bigger. Okay, the benefit of using this type of mirror. So you can copy this down there. Almost done, now almost done. I think we only have one more to go. Did Faith raise her hand? Oh, Faith raise her hand. Okay. All right, the last one now, this is also in the workbook, which is the mirror at the sharp corner. Same thing like the supermarket mirror. Okay, the mirror at the sharp corner, the supermarket mirror, same thing. Okay, so the type of mirror that we use is the convex mirror. Okay, and how do we use this mirror to see the incoming car? Okay, again, uh, the most important thing is that the wider view of vision. Okay, actually, I prefer the words wider feel. <laughs> wider feel of vision. I prefer this word, uh, view, feel, rather than view. Okay, feel is much better. Okay, so the light from the car ahead this light is reflected by the mirror to the driver. He can see an upright, wider field of vision, but small image. He's not interested in the size of the car. He just wants to know whether the car is there or not. Okay, so again, uh, this balance is over there. If you can see more, you can see more, but you can see more, but you can see more, but Okay, convex mirror. If you have concave mirror, you can see more, but you can see more, but you but everything is bigger. Okay, dia lebih besar. Itu yang menyebabkan kamu boleh nampak lebih besar. Sebab dia kasih kecilkan tempat yang kamu boleh tengok. Okay, so this is the explanation for how you can see the incoming car. So I just want to show you the supermarket mirror for the same thing. Okay, the supermarket mirror also the same thing lah. Okay, convex is always virtual. Smaller is diminished. Virtual upright diminished. You can see the whole shop. Wider field of vision because everything is smaller. Okay, so just to show you the difference between convex and concave. Huh? Convex, okay, everything is smaller, but you see more. Concave, everything is bigger. Okay, you see, this is you. Huh? This is you. This is the image. Okay, the image is bigger, but there's a there's a sharat, there's a condition to this. You must be very near the mirror, and then your face will be bigger. Okay, your face will be bigger and not just bigger, it will also be upright. Okay, just like this. Okay, because if you move further and further away, you will be tabalik, which is good for different purposes. Lah. Okay, so my suggestion to you is to go, sorry, my suggestion for you is later, maybe during your lunch, lah, okay, take a look at your spoon. <laughs> okay, take a look at your spoon. Okay, and remember that the side where you put your rice on is the con concave mirror okay when you're far away it's always the balik when you're near it's upright but it's hard to see if you're near because you know spoon is very small lah. but on the other side of the spoon is a convex mirror whether you are near or you're far you're always going to be virtual upright and diminished <laughs>